Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. Frowny faces. Last beer of the night. Last beer. Oh. Uh, this one we were just talking about. One of our local places put out some of their barrel aged beers. So this was a shelfy. Uh, this one is. <laughs> this one's out of Italy. This one's Barrel Joyu. I'm just guessing on the pronunciations. <laughs> I mean. I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing, but uh, Reserva, Reserva Teo Musso. This one's out of uh, Bira Baladin in Piazzo, Italy. 14%. It's uh, listed as a barley wine or other. Barreled in 2008, I think released in 2009. So barley wine. Barley wine. Well, the, 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 the guy I talked to at, the, at where I got this said, uh, think, think, um, um, uh, just a big strong ale, you okay. know, so things I'm thinking of are like, it's going to be like, you know, the brown sugar, old toffee, ale old ale strong ale, maybe not as much as the fruitiness, but okay. anyway, looking forward to it. So let's get into it. Yeah. So Hardly really brown, dark, no carbonation. I mean, I can't just see what's doing holding the glass or not, but 14%. Right. Let's get the nose. nose. Okay. That's real that's musty oak, wooden. Yeah. Um, but I get some sweet, like toffee, I get some dark caramel. Fruits. Yeah, yeah. There's some raisin in there, a little bit of fig. Did you say what year it was? 2008. Oh. Yeah, it's, and then it's... that's when it was brewed and then barreled. And I think it was a year, so to that maybe 2009. I'm, okay. I'm guessing. Hmm. Yeah, they had nothing like this when I went to Italy. I can tell you that. Well, that's because they shipped everything. <laughs> it's over here. It's all at the trap. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's so sweet. That wow. Is, and then booze. I get sweet yeah. first, then booze. Um, it's like brown sugar, syrup, it's, coffee. So for you know old ale barley wines, this is more on the brown sugar sweet scale as opposed to the you know plum raisin scale to me. I'm yeah. not getting a lot of the fruits. I took a bigger sip there and I got more of that. More of that raisin. But you don't take too big a set, 14%. Yeah, it's boozy. Yeah, it you get boozy. the heat there. It's good though. I actually am enjoying it. I, I, I like this kind of beer. It's those it diabetes. Good. It's very, very sweet. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's sugary. Liquid, liquid sweet. It's... Yeah, caramel. Maybe a hint of that, like raisin fig, plum. Definitely got some wood oak <sighs> character there. Yeah. I keep getting more of that. I'm getting more accustomed to the sugars, and I, I get more of this fruitiness to it. Okay, so you're getting that. I'm still not getting much fruit. I'm still on the sweet booziness, um, but I like it. I mean, yeah. uh, don't get me wrong. I think that's good. No, uh, I mean, very I, solid. I prefer I'm more of the raisin. It. Yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. don't chug this. Mm. Yeah, uh, but I definitely prefer more the the sweet fruit with yeah. that sweet brown sugar, but this is yeah. more the brown sugar sweetness. Yeah, I mean, look at that color though. I mean, it's gotta have a lot of barrel character, you know? I mean, it's it's definitely, it's definitely got some oakiness to it. It does. Now you've had the non-barrel aged version of this, right? I'm being super sweet as well. Okay. I just wonder if you could tell that no. the barrel character really stands out or not. Yeah, I like this. I, I'm with you. I would like a little more of that fruit character. So it's just really kind of sugary sweet to me, you know? But, you know, we're also rating this nine years after it was released, 10 years yeah. after it was brewed, um, which makes me, I'm at a 425, I think, just because yeah, it's I like it well. and I, like it. I have to give it some credit for standing up after mm -hmm. that many years. I yeah. don't know what the years did to it, but right. I, I still like it. Right. Um, it took the carbonation away, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, now this one, again, uh, I don't know how many bottles sitting around. It's kind of one of those rare things, so I can't. <sighs> But it's uh, worth trying. Though. But it's worth trying. It's good. Uh, you know, out of Italy, we don't. We both talked. I wish they had this kind of sitting around when we were when we were over there, yeah. something to drink like this. But uh, it's well done. I mean, it's just very, very sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But thanks for sharing. Yeah. That. Anything else? No. As always, guys. If you can't the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.